Shalom. Before I start, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakak Rosh, to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, peace, blessings, and salutations. To all like to Akim Akwath, learning and teaching in truth and sincerity, another video through the Spirit. Hey, some of y'all may have seen this. This is a video just that just came out. You know, it's this channel. They do, uh, they do, they use graphics to, you know, animate of, you know, things that could happen to you, you know, different ways to die. And this one is what it would look like to, to be caught up in a fucking nuke, y'all. Um, in which this, this little clip doesn't, nothing is going to truly encapsulate the actual magnitude of the destruction that's coming to America. Uh, you know, the whore is destined to be utterly destroyed by fire as prophesied in the scriptures. All right. And you will have several other spots of the world, right, to get hit. But we know that America will be utterly decimated, never again inhabited, according to several scriptures. Um, there's a reason why we are fighting so hard not to be caught up in this horrific judgment. And once again, this little depiction doesn't fully give the scope, but this is a good depiction, man. Getting getting melted from layer to layer, disintegrated, incinerated, and just vanquished in less than in less than a second. And we know according to scriptures now, you know, in real time, this explosion takes place, you know, within a second, right? And then the, the wave, the shock wave goes out within a couple seconds and covers, you know, miles, right? In an instant. But we know the scripture said that the Heavenly Father is going to torment the motherfuckers in there. So however long that pain feels, we just don't want to be part of it. So let me let this play. We'll get some scriptures. There's a reason why we're fighting our hardest not to be a, a part of this judgment, y'all. Okay, nothing's gonna compare to this shit. That'll be the uh, thumbnail. Potentially. Biggest concern is proximity. You bet your fucking ass it is. The closer you is, the deader you is. And even if you're a distance off the red, you're gonna die from the radiation any goddamn way. That's why we need Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to get out of this. So what, it said the furthest is out, what, 3.27 kilometers. So that's a couple miles of range. Let's be generous. What is the distance? What is it? Uh, shit. Let's be generous. Two, uh, three kilometers. Let's say five and a half uh, to six and a half miles, right? A reach. They're saying that these are the, some, some of the side effects. This is this is the absolute outer limits, right? Permanent blindness, burned retinas. Thermal radiation pulse, second degree burns, temporary and some permanent hearing loss. So even at the most furthest outskirts, <laughs> uh, you know, you are several miles away. You bitch, you still getting your eardrums blew out, going blind and catching second uh, degree burns. Uh, and we know, you know, all of America ain't nobody escaping in America that's not the elect. This, this, this is gonna be brutal, y'all. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna turn the phone sideways, actually, y'all. I want y'all to see this in full scope. Skin on your face melted off. Come on now, y'all. That's zone one. That says light blast damage, and you're already fucking melted like butter. There's a reason, man. Let me get that Revelation 20. There's a reason why it says those who don't go through that are blessed. All right, what is that? Revelation 20. Uh, where is that at? Uh, Blessed are they that not taste of the second death. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Uh, is it 14? No. Yeah.
Yeah, Revelation 20, I'm going to start right at it, 20 and 6. It says, Blessed and holy is he that hath part in the first resurrection. And uh, on such the second death hath no power, but they shall be priests of the most high power and of Mashiach, and shall reign with him a thousand years. Y'all, it's going to be a blessing unto the elect who don't have to go through that. Because those who have to go through it, not only is it going to be extremely painful but they're gonna have to bear that shame you know daniel the 12th chapter you don't want to go through that i don't want to go through that so what do we have to do we have to do our best to serve yahweh bashim yahweh shai throw your feelings out the window throw everything you learn from the white man school system out the window get out of your emotions understand and deal with and accept order learn humility don't do sneaky shit take counsel do whatever you have to do y'all to stay on the good side of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah and of the Holy Spirit you don't want to get caught up in this and you know we know that that first resurrection right the elect being raised up and that second death is the thermonuclear uh, fire destroying Babylon alright sideways So now, now we're going into zone two. You're a little, you're about two. These are kilometers, so 1.2. So you're about two, at worst, two and a half miles close to the explosion, right? So you're dead as fuck. You're cooked. Literally cooked. Eardrum, rupture, concussion, third degree burns. You're out of there. You're dead as fuck. <laughs> 600 meters. That's, you know, you, you could, uh, hang on. Uh, Okay, yeah, I'm sorry, yeah, yeah, uh, one kilometer is about a little over half of a mile, um, so, yeah, two kilometers a mile, uh, three kilometers, one and a half mile, um, so 600 meters, let's just say you're about a football field away, or you're several, you're about two to three football fields away, potentially, 600 meters, right, um, yeah, because a uh, thousand kilometers is a uh, thousand kilometers. Yeah, yeah. Basically, you're, I'm trying to think of a, we're all from different places in the United States. Uh, <laughs> Let's say you are in your downtown of, of your whatever city. This would be from the downtown to the start of the suburbs, right? A little, you know, a little, little, little bit over half a mile. You're, Cook, you're in Cook City. Heavy blast damage. It's listing all these things. You're fucking dead. Brain, uh, traumatic brain injury. Fourth degree burns. That's down to the bone. Hemorrhaging. Digestive tract uh, hemorrhaging. Uh, let's see. Collapsed lung. Bronchi. What's this? Aerial gas embolism. AGE. You're, you're, you're dead. You're not surviving any of this. And that's if you, you know, survive whatever building you're about to get slung into at a hundred, uh, you know, at a thousand miles per hour. <laughs>
proximity to fireball. So, uh, AKA, you're, you're really cooked. Okay, AKA, you are really cooked. Man, okay, no. That might be the fucking thumbnail right there. Holy shit, y'all. Turn back over. Let's go back for oh, shit. Y'all. Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. It says he has a matter of fact, I'm gonna have to get that. We don't know what them people gonna experience caught up in that fire, man. Time could slow down for their ass. And they feel every day what 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 happens in a second feels like a hundred years. That is a horrible sight. You are doomed. Least Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai be with you. This is what we do not want to be a part of, y'all. That's why we're making ourselves a living sacrifice. We in Revelation, let's go back. The scriptures say they're going to be tormented in that fire. Revelation 14. Let's go down to. Uh, let's go. Let's start at verse 8. It says, and there followed another angel saying, Babylon is fallen, is fallen. That great city, what great city? America. Because she made all nations drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. And the third angel followed them saying, with a loud voice, if any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand. So this is the punishment coming to those that have the mark. All right. And like the, you know, apostles and elders and brothers have said, those who live in other countries, we're going to see what the Lord does with them. Whether the Heavenly Father has it set up to where they all come here or they get, you know, hit in the different concentrated points of the world they're at, we're going to see. But we know for 100% fact that here in America, this bitch is getting bombed out. And it's a special judgment for those who take the mark, which is the chip. And it's coming. Okay? Verse 10. The same shall drink drink of the wine of the wrath of Yahweh, which is poured out without mixture. So the full fury and anger and hatred of the Heavenly Father, it's not diluted. It's not watered down. It's full power destruction. And to the cup of his indignation, and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. So the elect, the angels, Yahweh Shai, the Heavenly Father, will be watching this great event go down. Not only will it be nuclear fire, but you will have chariot fire, all right? The mixture, that great, grand destruction, y'all, to completely decimate this place. These people are gonna get mad, yo, man. Boy, oh boy. Uh, Revelation 16, where is it at, where is it at? taking it back to this original picture right right here um keep that keep that image in your mind the actual seeing the actual warhead right before it detonates it's parabolic revelation 16 and 19 it says that the great city was divided into three parts the sons of god the sons of men the sons of the wicked it said uh, in the cities of the nations fell and great babylon came in remembrance before the power to give unto her the cup of the wine of the fierceness of his wrath. Once again, that fire from the chariots and from the nukes, that's the wine of the wrath poured out upon this place. It says, and every island fled away and the mountains were not found. Now, what does that mean? Does that mean that the natural, you know, formation of the earth put on some shoes and ran? No, the destruction is going to be so great. It's going to completely level, devastate, and destroy <laughs> natural formations, mountains blown to nothing hills blown to nothing all these buildings all the creeks rivers dams companies uh, uh every structure in america is going to get completely decimated utterly okay verse 21 and there fell upon men a great hell out of heaven what's that hell the missiles every stone about the weight of a talent and men blaspheming the power because of the plague of hell for the plague thereof was exceeding great so that's the destruction that's coming. Those missiles is the stone, all right, the talent, the hell that's coming down. And when you look at, uh, let's go to that red real quick. We're going to go back to the video and finish out. 
Cause that ain't no joke, boy. That ain't no joke. Um, revelation. I believe the word I want to look up is talent. This was an ancient system of weight, right? The weight of a talent. Yep. Uh, talentios. G5006. It says, a weight or worth of a talent. A talent of silver weighed about 100 pounds. A talent of gold, 200 pounds. So, it's not, it's, you're not going to literally look up in the air and see hundreds of pounds of gold and silver falling out the sky. This is parabolic for the missiles. All right. It's going to have weight to it. The warhead dropping out of the sky. And they're made up of metal. All right. Not 100% gold and silver, although they do have different parts, you know, of different metals in them. All right. They, they do have gold and silver in them to a degree because the circuit, board, circuit boards that are inside of, you know, most technologies do have gold it's a great conduit all right so this is that talent that weight man that's gonna fall on these people just like this nigga here somebody might get a, a warhead might just land because the way that they're designed they don't land all the way on the ground they hit they you know gr with ground zero they'll it detonate right above surface level it actually helps it spread even harder so somebody punk ass might get slapped with that bitch then blow up <laughs> That'd be amazing. All right, so we're gonna let it finish out. Back to sideways. Incineration, body dismemberment. Out of there. Fucking This ain't nothing to be played with. There's a reason why we're fighting against, we're fighting. Vaporized, y'all. Anything inside the fireball is vaporized. Disintegr dis disintegration. You getting broke down back to your fucking atoms. God damn it. I'm gonna get that scripture on Zechariah, and that'll probably be it. I don't even this 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 don't this ain't a deep. You see what's going on here? You see what's going on here, y'all? Motherfuckers gonna be holding their little weak ass babies. Motherfuckers gonna be standing next to a goddamn car. <laughs> get get fucking dusted all off, all up against the car. It's gonna be really bad, really really bad. Hey, 
So there's Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai has set this judgment up from the foundation of the earth. This was meant to happen, and it's and it's this, that, this, that this is going to be known as the greatest destruction for a reason. The flood was great, you know. It was it was um, you know the flood actually you know only eight people survived, so the flood wasn't nothing to play with neither, y'all. But this fire, man. This fire is about to be something else. This fire is about to be something else. All right, Zechariah 14 and 12, straight at it, it says, And this shall be the plague wherewith the Lord shall smite the people that have fought against Jerusalem. Their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet, and their eyes shall consume away in their holes, and their tongue shall consume away in their mouth. What's well, going to cause that? That fire. We just saw it. Literally, you know, Second, third, fourth degree burns melting you down to nothing. Melting the melting those who take the mark and anybody in America down to motherfucking nothing. Because truly, if you're not, if you're in America and you're not of the elect, you're gonna be, you're gonna die one way or another. Whether you take the mark or not, these motherfuckers is gonna get caught up. So, you know, I just wanted to make y'all aware of this clip, man. This ain't nothing to play with. Hey, so with that, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shad Bahashem, Rakak Wadash, Dev to the elders and apostles, a great millstone, peace, blessings, and salutations to all the like Akim, Wa'akwath, learning and teaching and truth and sincerity, Shalom.